I'm going to grab the document so that I have them here as you join. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay. Uh, yes, hey guys, uh, Brent, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it just occurred to me that I could put Ryan on this call. I, I had told him, you know, every, uh, people always want to hear, you know, an update on how is he doing, what's he doing. Uh, and uh, so anyway, um, I asked him if I could merge him with this call and let him tell everybody hello. So um, as I was merging, I guess I guess he said he had to uh, step away from the phone for half a second here and uh grab something that that we were discussing uh, and then and then okay. when I'm, okay uh, i'm here so, ryan you're you're merged on uh do you want to tell everybody hi and these are people who pray for you and and keep track of of what's going on and uh, so i thought you might well, like thank to say you hello. thank you folks i do appreciate it I rely on all of that. I just hope that these prayers will be answered someday yeah. soon. I'm ready to come out of here so badly. Yeah, so, um, so. I, I generally tell people how you're doing when, when they want to report, but um, do you just want to take just a second and tell everybody how you're doing, what you're doing? Well, um, I never say I'm doing good because it's just not good in here. But I am surviving. I get by day to day. Some days are better than others. It's an up and down roller coaster. Sometimes it's just so hard. There's a constant hole in my heart and soul that just cannot be filled until I'm home with my wife. And so that's a constant ache that just can't get past. But uh, I am surviving. Um, I'm doing all that I know to do, and I'm trying to learn as fast as I can. I try not to make steps that I'm not ready to make because I don't want to do something foolish. Right. And that, you know, I'm I'm a slow learner, perhaps. I don't know. But I, <laughs> no, I want no. to do. There's you're, you're more not. that I'm wanting to do that I don't feel ready or, you know, or, right. or we, knowledgeable enough. Not that I'm not Ryan, ready. Ryan, we call but, that we call that methodical. Nothing wrong with methodical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I always so, encourage people, you don't do something because I did it or because I said. Uh, we do things that we know are right, and that's either based on, on the Holy Spirit's prompting us or, or education. And, you know, one of the things when people ask me, well, why hasn't Ryan done this? And, uh, you know, my answer is always he doesn't have – the ability to sit and study like we do. He doesn't have access to all this information, and, and it, it's very difficult. It's difficult to let go of that raft um, when you're just surrounded by ocean and you can't see land. And, and that's actually the situation that, that Ryan is in, is trying to find the land. And that's not just ironic. That's frightening. And uh, the stakes are very high. Uh, there are sharks in the water. Uh, we, we can get hypothermia and, and just exhaustion. So I always tell people, you don't do any, don't take a step until you know. And um, Ryan is a, a, a good student in, in that capacity. He doesn't just run out, you know. This call is uh, from an inmate facility. Jumping into things, and, and I admire that. But I, but I, he is a praying man, and. He does wait on wait on the Lord, and I think the timing of everything is crucial. And um, so, anyway, um, right? You want to just um, tell them about the habeas, just like a little bit about what's going on with the habeas. Yeah, how much do, do they know already concerning the you know Bell Reform Act of 1984? Are they up on that, or where where what what knowledge base am I starting from? Well, the the uh, the thing they're they're mostly muted. So we have like um, I have uh, Brent on the line. He's not he's not muted. Um, we have Hamilton, and then we have the Monor Mon Monor Black. The, ah, that word's escaping me. Um, she she monitors the call. Moderator. The call. Moderator. Yes, thank you. Moderator. Um, Moderator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, basically, I I did explain to him that we have a very unique habeas. A brief synopsis then of what uh, the, what the habeas habeas is. Right, of, I just told of, him that of, it's, of that it's very 
it's very unique. So I didn't tell them what, what is in it, but if you want to just give them just a second, I mean, like, uh, kind of give them Yes, a I will. Okay, good. All right. Um, the courts are holding me and many other people that are detaining under the authority they claim through the Bail Reform Act of 1984. Um, the Bail Reform Act of 1984 <clears throat> supposedly replaced the Bail Reform Act of 1966. And the major difference between the two is that the Bail Reform Act of 1966 um, states that a person who is arrested shall be you know, released upon his own recognizance um, or bail, depending on you know, depending on the determination of of the person's risk of flight, whether he would appear in court or not. The Bail Reform Act of 1984 brings in an element of dangerousness that the person can't be released if he's considered dangerous. Now, in 1966, that the only time the dangerousness can be brought in is if the person was um, subject to a capital crime, in other words, capital punishment. Um, and so now they're trying to apply that to everybody in the Bail Reform Act of 1984. The problem with the Bail Reform Act of 1984 is that it went through Congress and did not pass. It failed twice. It failed twice. And so it, it, they call it the Bail Reform Act of 1984, but it's not an act because it was never enacted. This call and so the name facility. is deceptive. What they did do is they took that language that they that should have or that was the bill that never became the act, and they added that language to a joint resolution, which a House joint resolution is a temporary. Um, they do make it law, but it's only temporary. It only lasts for two years, and then they've got to renew it every two years. And it's only, only the only purpose is is to just kind of bridge, you know, from one legislative session to the next, thinking that they will enact it next year. Well, since 1984, it has never been enacted as a proper act of Congress. What's the significance? Of, what's the significance of an act of Congress? in relation to them holding you? Okay, well, if, if we look at the United States Code, uh, Chapter 8, or Title 18, uh, Subsection 4001, which is limitations upon um, in detention of a person, which it states that a citizen um, shall not be imprisoned or otherwise detained by the United States except pursuant to an act of Congress. Now, if you read that, the word act is capitalized, which means it's a proper noun, which means it has to be a proper act, a proper act. So in other words, if, if, if the United States is going to imprison or detain somebody, it has to be in pursuance to an act it's of Congress. From an inmate facility. Okay, now wait a well, minute. The bail reform. Because because it, it, it tells us two things. It tells us well three things. They have to have an act of Congress. But it also tells us that the Correct. only one that it's good for is a citizen. So first they have to be dealing with a citizen. Correct. Secondly, they Correct. have to have an act of Congress. Okay? Which tells us by the rules Correct. of exclusion that they cannot hold someone who is not a citizen of the United States. Ryan, are you a citizen of the United States? Yes or no? No. Okay, and what no, is I'm an what, what qualifies an act to be an act of Congress? An act of Congress has to go through both houses of, of the, the 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 Senate and the and the House, both houses of legislature. It has to be passed by both. It has to be signed by the, the president. Um, but furthermore, it has to state that it's an act. It has to have a title. It has to um, have an enacting clause, which yes. the enacting clause is also listed in, in the U.S. Code. It's, it, you know, in other words, 
the acting enacting clause states the authority by which the the the, the main body or the, or what the rest of it the, the authority it states the authority for this act to be enacted. Right. And then of course yeah. the main body, which is the language, you know, of the act. Then that act has to be um, published so that it is made public, so people will know that it is truly an act. And it, and it has to be um, read on the floor how many times? Uh, Three I'm not times. Not on that. Is that twice? Three, three times. It, it has to be three read times. on the floor three times. And where do you find the information for what a, what an enactment clause has to say for an, a, an act of Congress? And then tell me, where is an act of Congress enforced? So where do you find the wording to know if an act of Congress is an act of Congress. Title one. Yes, one zero one. Section yes, one zero one. Title one. Um, title one one zero one. Yes. So where is where is an a, an act of Congress in force? An act of Congress is enforced in the District of Columbia. According uh, to uh, an insular. According to, oh, I don't have that off the top of my head. <laughs> You're supposed to know this. I don't know if you guys know, but he's being quiz. <laughs> <laughs> federal okay. rules, federal rules of criminal uh, procedure, rule fifty-four. Fifty-four. Okay. 54. Prior to, prior to two thousand and two, I believe it, it it is still in the rules, but. That's where it originally was, and then they moved it when people caught on to it. You have one it. minute remaining. So I can call back um, if you want me to. Yeah, I, I do want you to call okay, back. But so if, if, if you'll tell everybody bye, because we need to talk about what we were talking about, I just thought they would be um, uh, be glad to hear from you. And I'm sorry we had them all muted. And uh, But anyway, thank you for talking to them. And, I, I know that there are Anyway, so free. just in synopsis, our our habeas corpus is bringing this point to light that the that the government does not have an act of congress to be holding me or anyone else in well pretrial, put it that way. They got to right, let me Kerry. go legally. Right. They got to let me go. <laughs> and we're going to so. get this done. <laughs> okay. Your time All right, Ryan. Is up. Okay. Are you are you is Brent Brent are you still there? Yes, ma'am. Hey, okay. All right. So listen, I'm um we are I gotta get to work with him and um so can you can you handle the rest of this call? And then Robin yeah. okay, and then Robin, we can reschedule for a question and answer. Um like maybe next week. And um, uh, I'll, I'll be back on to answer questions, but we're already at two hours. So um, uh, if, if we want to schedule a question and answer, it would be really good if people would write their questions down. Um, in particular, really be prepared and listen to that audio on YouTube and have some good questions. And the, um, we'll be able to answer almost any question you have. I, I promise you, we've got a very strong grasp of this, and and it works in beautiful conjunction with what with the administrative stuff that that I've been teaching. Um, so uh, anyway, I uh, I hope you guys are are happy with the results. We've we've got more, um, and we'll come back with the more at another time. But. Um, that's Ryan, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you handle the rest of the call, Brent, okay?